Hi guys, it's Minette. Um, I'm going to show you how to do some bubble wrap stamping today. I had somebody suggest that I do some video tutorials, so I'm trying it out on something quick, kind of easy, um, and something that I like to do. So we're going to learn a little bit about bubble wrap stamping. Um, the first thing that you're going to need is a really sharp pair of scissors. These ones are by Making Memories. I know that Stampin' Up! has some that you can buy that are called paper snips. Um, and I know cutter bee scissors work really well. I get my bubble wrap from envelopes that I get in the mail like this. And you can do use these or you can use um, just a roll of bubble wrap. Either way will do. But make sure that when you cut out your shape, I'm going to kind of show you this one. So you see how part up here is cut off. These ones are not going to show as much ink because they've been popped technically and there's no air in them anymore. Whatever it has the most air is going to show the most ink, okay? So with that said, let's just dive right in. I'm going to be using Tempting Turquoise Ink by Stampin' Up! Water-based or alcohol-based dye inks um, work best, but you could use a craft ink or a chalk ink based ink as long as you're willing to let it dry and make sure you don't push down too hard. But to ink it up, you just kind of rub it together. You can pick it up really easily and you just push down. I apologize for my inky fingers. That's just kind of how they always are. I'm sure you can relate. And you can see how awesome that looks. Isn't that cool? Look at that great texture. And did you see the ones that were up around here that were popped? They don't even really ink up except for the edges. So like I said, whatever shape you want, make sure that it's not popped, okay? Um, and another thing that I like to do with these is I like to do some sp uh, some blending first and then do some tone-on-tone -tone stamping, okay? So I'm just going to blend a little section over here. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's just a scrap and it's just to show you kind of what you can do with it. Um, let's do this one. Either way, it can have a back like this one or if it doesn't, it's okay. You can just kind of pick it up with your fingers like this. Or if you're like me and you just don't care, you can just kind of grab it because really crafting is about getting inky. So push that down gently and show you that one. Isn't that cool looking? I do this a lot when I'm making um, skies and things like that. And I store my pieces in just a clear plastic envelope that used to have an acrylic stamp set. You can wipe these off with baby wipes so that... Um, you can reuse them with different colors. When I first started making these, I threw some away, and then I realized how sad that was because all those awesome shapes were gone. So look how easy it is. This one had been used previous. Oh, I just used it, but it had been used previously also. And so just wipe it off, wipe this off, and they're ready to store. And I'm going to show you a couple cards that I've made using this technique. I'm going to start with some clean and simple cards. This is one that I made. It's a one layer clean and simple card. And I used the bubble wrap as my main stamp image with a sentiment. So that was fun. Um, this one, I'm not 100% sure you'll be able to see it. Let's see if I can kind of, there we go. So this is really subtle texture stamping. You can see it a lot better in real life, I'm sure. Although I might be able to see it when I edit this video, who knows? So there's that and simple card and then here's one of the first clean and simple cards I made using this technique with a monochrome color scheme just like that green one you saw and I just used it to make a background and pop up the sentiment to kind of frame the sentiment and then here are a couple that I've done where I've made scenes or done kind of more um, artsy stamping this one Hopefully you can see. I've done the bubble wrap and some other texture stamping with a beautiful silhouette by Great Impressions over it. And then this one is what I was telling you about before. I've used it for the sky, and I've also used it on the grass. I'm not 100% sure you can see it very well, but if you look right in here, you can see how I've used it for the grass also. So there's that. So those are some ideas that can get you started. Um, depending on how I get feedback from this video, 
I might actually do a couple more videos about um, bubble wrap stamping. But otherwise, stay tuned for some more techniques. And as always, happy stamping, friends.